Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Safely and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. So recently I've had some people on Twitter asking me where exactly they should focus on going when they are playing World War II Free For All. I asked them if they'd like me to make a video on it, they told me yes and that that would be helpful, so I figured why not, this has actually been an idea of mine for a while, I wanted to make a video like this on Modern Warfare as well, but I stopped playing that game quite a while ago and I've mainly been playing this, so I figured hey, better late than never. I know for most people that start playing FFA that are not used to it at all when they get in there they have no idea where to go i mean sometimes you can just kind of have that natural idea of where spawns are and where you should focus but for a lot of people they get super stressed and they quit really easily because they think there's no clip opportunities they don't get clip opportunities they just don't know where to go so i'm here to give you guys a little bit of a guide to try and help you guys enjoy ffa more and get more opportunities overall i would have really really benefited from something like this whenever i first started playing ffa on world war ii because i had no idea where i was going i had no idea what i was doing so I thought that hitting a quad feed was super rewarding like I thought it was the most impossible thing in the world Now, you know not to flex or anything guys But I smack them out left and right here and uh, it's all because I know the rotations on where to go So I'm gonna try and help you guys get on that level of being able to just play games Have fun and get consistent clip opportunities now I'm sure that some of you guys that are watching this video probably have DLC on me personally I took DLC off because I did not enjoy the lobbies that I was getting honestly just was not a good experience for me So the only maps that I'm going to be showing showcasing in this video are going to be the default maps and I'm actually going to showcase every single one I'm gonna try and pick up the pace a little bit so that obviously this video isn't like 30 40 minutes long um, but essentially I'm gonna hop into each map show you guys where I focus on there um, and just try and give you guys a little bit of a better understanding I do try to go out of my way to play every single map um, just because I think that you know once you get used to every single map then technically speaking if you have a good lobby no map is a bad map and uh, yeah by the way if you guys are hearing any popping or stuff like that the background people are just firing off fireworks it's been like a nightly thing so i apologize in advance so i think what i'm gonna go ahead and do is start with Aachen and then just slowly but surely go down the line um i don't really know if i'm gonna show shipment I, I might just go ahead and do it because you know even though it's a super small map there are better spots to play than others on there now i think one thing i'm gonna go ahead and do just to make things a little bit easier for those of you guys that already know some of the maps i'm gonna go ahead and put some timestamps down in the description to basically go to each map so if you guys are wondering about a certain map just go down in the description check that click the time Timestamp, and it should hopefully take you to the point in the video uh, where we are going over that specific map. But we're gonna go ahead and start off here on Aachen. Now I might show one or two spots per video. There's a lot of different spots, but I'm gonna show you guys that for me personally have been the most effective. So starting off here on Aachen, essentially this is one of my favorite spots whenever I'm playing the map. Now one thing I do want to stress is every lobby is different, meaning that every lobby for the most part is going to have different sides of the map that they prefer to control. And the main thing that you're going to want to do when you first get in there is figure out where they're spawning most and where they're running most because sometimes this side's super effective, sometimes it's not because they're all the way over there. So essentially right here is basically where I like to rotate, either right here or on the other side. Um, essentially I believe there's a spawn in there, there's a spawn in there, right in there as well, and then I believe there's a spawn somewhere close to over here, but essentially I kind of just rotate it. Um, a lot of the time you can catch some people coming out from over there, keep your eye on this side right here and people will run out, and you know, it's it's really good for clips honestly this map if you get a good lobby is a really good map and that's kind of for every map honestly because I used to hate certain maps like I used to hate Aachen I used to hate Gibraltar and now I don't really mind it as much because I found the way to play on there and I get opportunities pretty much every game so this is one of the sides that I like to control I can basically go like to there and then check in here and then go back here someone runs out here I can get them right there right here like stuff like that this is a really good side now translating over here to the other side essentially right in here is that spawn I was talking about this is also a side that I like to control as well essentially right over here because they spawn up there they can spawn right over there they can run out of that room this room and sometimes you can catch them running down the hill right there and right here so there's a lot of potential for this side of the map honestly I think that it's a little bit underrated and I used to think it was impossible to hit a clip on here but now I know that I have I believe at least one so you know I like that for sure so now making it over here to the other side of the map this is essentially where you will control if they are not running over there there a lot of the time they are over here um, as far as the spawns go I believe there's one right in there like right in that corner there's one back there there's one I believe in between those rooms right there one over there basically you can control over here the entire side I have multiple different places I like to run around sometimes I'll circle this little tank so I'll focus like I'll get a guy right there right here right there 
and sometimes they're running right here and you can usually catch a guy like right there i don't know what it is but the randoms just love to be like right underneath that sign they love to just chill there which is really weird um the one thing that can get annoying on this map is the dudes like to sit right here in the back i don't know why honestly i never understand the random play styles but this is like i believe a spawn like right over here and some randoms will just sit right here the entire time and that'll mess up the whole rotation so if you see that come on over here get them out of there if you can because honestly when the whole rotation is messed up you're basically just wasting your time because if people can't run out properly you're not going to get the correct attempts and that's not cool man but yeah you can go ahead and you can circle this tank right here if you want um sometimes you can go ahead and kind of station yourself right here people will run out over here and over there so you can kind of man it right here see that doorway right there guy will run out right there you can pop him right there dude runs out there pop him right there and yeah you guys get the gist i've never really attempted to play the middle of the map so i don't really think this is effective then again i've never really tried it i think it would be really cool to see somebody hit a clip by going like right here right there right there you know that'd be that'd be really cool but i don't think that people really run that way at least not in my personal experience but you guys are free to try out whatever you want at the end of the day this is my personal opinion and what has been most effective for me all right guys that's enough for Aachen. let's go ahead and move on to the next map all right guys so we are on arden's forest one of my favorite maps whenever this comes up in the rotation i do get a little bit excited at least over the other maps so we're actually basically in the spot right now this is essentially where you're going to want to be whenever you get in here because basically the spawns that you're going to be looking for is uh, you're going to see people uh, spawn right there in that corner and they're going to run out either that way or that way um, some people like to run in between here you'll usually see people run from this side all the way over here um, running back over here you'll usually see people pushing out right there or people coming right around that uh, is that a tank I don't know what I think that's a tank they'll come around the tank wreckage right there they'll either come out right there or right there and then over here people like to camp in this house so definitely try and get them out of here if they are camping in here because once again that will mess up rotations um, but people like to run out of this door so keep an eye on that and people also love to sit in that corner which sucks um, people like to run through that little cave i guess we'll call that even though no that's not a cave at all <laughs> they like to run through the little tunnel right there and usually some people like to sit on that turret i know that there are some ffa players that like to focus around this side it has never been my cup of tea i've never liked this side i just have never found success then again i don't play it that much i know that you could probably control it pretty well over here um, but it's not something that i put effort towards it's not something that i try but like i said before guys it's completely up to you if you want to try that out absolutely go ahead and do that but this is my spot right here where i like to play so essentially whenever you're over here the way that i usually play it is i circle around right here so i check right here if no one's over here i run back here check this side i usually try and scope walk it because people can really surprise you around the corner so when i'm running around here i'm usually like this when i go around the corner that way i can get the jump on anybody coming around i check right here check right here rotate back look over there and then essentially just kind of go back and forth. I've definitely had a good amount of clips right here in this spot. Like I said, this is my favorite spot on the map. Usually some dude will push right here. Then you can get some guy right there. Someone will run around right here. You can pop him right there. Some guys are right there. He's come around the corner. You scope walk him, get him right there. Essentially, there is a lot of clip potential on this map, which is why I like this map so much. But essentially, if you're going to be playing it, this is the spot that you're going to want to be in because this is where the traffic is at. Now, one little recommendation I want to give is if you are not finding success in people moving in your lobbies because i know some lobbies can be incredibly slow it's just bound to happen some randoms play like 40 50 year old men because that's honestly part of the population that's on this game which i always find super hilarious run care packages i always recommend running care packages you can run the regular care package and then the uh escort airdrop whatever it's whatever it's called it's the one that drops the three care pa packages you can run those two and then essentially you throw them out whenever you get them whenever you're on a streak and a lot of the time the randoms will run to them so you can really control the area they're running in because if you throw them like for instance right here then you can basically get everybody to run to you and then everybody that runs to you you can just pop them off and get an easy clip but yeah guys that is going to be it for Arden's Forest let's go ahead and move on to the next map now for one of my other favorite probably top maps this is going to be Flak Tower um, I have quite a few clips on this map just because I think that it's one of the most consistent for people really moving out in the open here there are essentially two spots that you can control on this map either right here or directly on the other side that's what i have found success with uh, essentially people will run over through this door because they'll spawn back there you can get somebody right there people usually run back there you can get someone running down through here in the window 
right here in the other doorway and essentially you can circle that and you can do essentially the same thing on the other side so making my way through here right here people run through the doorway people will run right there I usually check right here right here someone will run around this corner right there and then you rotate that that is honestly what I recommend um, for this map honestly it's very very basic because people really just go either <laughs> right there or right here um, I love always checking down here because there's always one dude just completely not knowing what's going on running that way and you can usually get an easy pop off there but yeah essentially just kind of watch that doorway watch right down here this is like one of the quad spots watch the window there's always somebody in the window I don't know what it is but people People of World War II have an addiction to sitting in windows. This window is the most annoying because I find it the hardest to get somebody out of there. Usually I'll try and jump and no scope at it with the hope that I get the person out of there, but it never really works. Just like I said with Arden's Forest, if you guys do have trouble getting people to, you know, run to where you want them to go, a lot of the time what I will do, and I know some other FFA players do it as well, is I will throw a care package right under here so that it lands right on top of here. And you gotta be careful with that because you can land it like right here and then it blocks your view to the other doorway. So try and land it like right here on this side and uh, people will try and run to it and pick it up but it's hard for them to pick it up because they got to get all the way on the top and then you can essentially just kind of control the traffic from there yeah guys that's pretty basic but that is going to be it for flag tower Alrighty, guys welcome to gibraltar aka what i thought was the worst ffa map in the game until I learned this spot right here because I made the mistake of playing on like the other side over there and hoping for clips which is just not the way to go. Right here there's essentially two spots right here and they're very close to each other that I highly highly recommend that I have clips on so basically right here is like the number one spot where I always go sometimes I'll throw a care package like right there or right there um, but essentially people will run through here they'll come up the stairs on that side and run through right there some people like to sit on the turret or come right there in that little room a lot of the time people run up that staircase or that staircase and appear right here where you can pop them off they'll appear right there where you can pop them off uh, when you come back here a lot of the times people are coming up through the little tunnel that leads through over there I'm kind of tracking it through the wall there they'll come out right there and you can pop them off right there some people come up from right there and you can pop them up right there uh, and then right here is the other side that you can control if you don't want to control it right here I 100% think this is the better side to be but if you want to play around switch it up a little bit uh, right here is another place you can control because people will come out of there you can pop them like that that. people right there like that run over here someone usually spawns back there you can get them right there circle right there get that and essentially just keep on circling around this thing right here I don't even know what this is or what to call it just this rock formation and little thing with a stool in it circle around this essentially and you can just pop people off as you see them now one thing for me a crutch perk for me that I've gotten really used to is running lookout because I don't have to pay very close attention as soon as I see the red my eyes are just attracted to it at this point so when I see the names I immediately just kind of stop and focus on the target but uh, that sounds super <laughs> nerdy but that's just the way that it goes uh like i said this is like number two for this map this is definitely number one right here is where you're gonna hit your most clips uh you can try and go over there on the other side it really varies on how your lobby's playing but nine times out of ten that will not be a good idea and these two spots are where you're gonna want to focus on but yeah basically right here the runner right there they'll come up top right there sometimes you can get them right there come back here they usually run out right there or right there and then essentially you just circle it yeah guys that's gonna be it for gibraltar let's go ahead and go on to the next map all right guys so for gustav i think there's like three or four little spots i'm gonna try and show them to you as fast as i can because this video is becoming much longer <laughs> than i anticipated i'm like 25 minutes deep right now uh, so i'm gonna try and pick up the pace here so essentially right here is the main spot that i've been focusing on that i found success with people will come out right there they'll come out right over here either from there or from there sometimes they'll be in between these two little cars train cars is that what they are i don't even know but they'll be right there uh, and then you run over here some people will be at that spot they'll be on either side of that and people love to chill in this window they will chill there all game if you let them so don't let them because you should just wall bang them just like that because they love to hide right there uh, but essentially you just rotate right here and you'll be able to probably hit something I haven't personally hit anything on this side. I've gotten super close. I got really lucky to hit something on the other side that I'll show you guys right now. So running right over here, the separate side of the Gustav, I hit something right here. That's I, I think I threw it in my OBRC response. It's with the uh, Irasaka. I got a single right here, Kalat right there, and then single. Uh, essentially, I haven't really mained the side. I was just kind of messing around when I was over here and hit that. But this can be a potential side. I really do think that this side is potential. You can get people up in that window. People run out over there a lot of people like to go over this hill to run all the way over there uh, i know people spawn behind that red thing i think is that a 
Ukraine. I don't know what that is. I'm about to get memed for that. <laughs> but essentially, this is another option. Uh, the third option here is going up top on the Gustav, which again, I have not hit a clip in FFA on top of the Gustav before, but this is something that could be effective if you get the right spawns. You can basically control both sides. A lot of the time people spawn right there. They'll run out right there. You can check down here because they'll try and run up and get you. You get them right there. Run over here. They'll be in the window. They'll be down there. And then you can come to the other side. A lot of times they spawn right there. They'll run up that hill and then they'll come up here, chill in that window. And then essentially you just keep on circling that until you hopefully hit something. But that is essentially uh, the third spot and then the fourth spot is the one that is right over here on this side essentially this is one that I've also seen people uh, have a lot of good traffic at again throughout those care packages guys run those care packages you're gonna see a lot more effective traffic coming to where you want it but essentially right here they'll go ahead and run out over there they will run out in the middle there or over here on this side you can usually catch people running up on the hills sometimes over here because they'll be attracted to your gunfire and then you can run back over here a lot of the times people like to sit like right at the top of those stairs on the Gustav uh, and then sometimes people run over there on that hill so you can essentially circle around here and pop some people off and potentially get a clip here like right there right there maybe someone's running over the hill you can pop them right there some guys running up here get them right there and then get the last guy that's either running down here or up there but yeah guys this is the fourth spot and final spot for Gustav cannon I personally don't like this map I usually hate to play it unless I have a really good lobby uh, so if you see this map and you have the option to skip it I think that pretty much every map except for Carrington is the better map to play in comparison to this one But yeah guys, that's gonna be the end of Gustav. Let's go ahead and move on to the next map Alright guys, so London Docks is going to be one of those maps where there's really one main spot But there's three spots that I will show you so the main spot is obviously gonna be up here This is where you're gonna be controlling everything uh, and right here is usually where I play if you watch my highlight videos or anything like that You'll notice that most of my clips are gonna be hit right here in this area uh, a lot of the times people will spawn uh, right up there and they'll run and jump down you can get somebody right there someone will spawn right here you can get them right there run up here check right here and right here there's usually people in one of those areas it's really consistent that you see a guy running through here as well and a lot of the times I'll see two or three people running over here on this side I don't really know why I'm not hundred percent exactly where the spawns are but that's pretty much where I see them running so essentially you circle this area you get basically the way that you can hit a clip is gonna be looking over right here you get someone there someone there check here or here get someone there or there right there and then someone will usually be running either right here or right here and you can pop them right there continue rotating that and you should find success as long as your traffic is running wherever you want it to run uh, the other spot over here that I think is kind of underrated but I have not yet hit a clip here uh, I think that it would look really nice but right here is a spot that you can kind of focus on essentially you just rotate this room check out here because a lot of people like to run over here next to the statue uh, but essentially going back here you can get some guy that runs there sometimes people like to climb up there it's pretty rare but you can get someone there as well you walk out on over here someone will run out there they'll run across here or they'll run up the stairs you can get them there essentially you can rotate over here and you can potentially find success with that I think this is one of those spots where you kind of have to throw a care package to see a lot of traffic here but would definitely be cool to see a couple of clips there I wouldn't really count this as a spot but up here just a lot of traffic in general you can focus on around here if you just want to circle the statue but for the third spot right here it's gonna be just on this side just depends on where the traffic is running on the map like I said for a lot of the other maps they are very very traffic heavy just throw out your care packages guys but right here essentially is going to be a really really nice spot uh, they'll run out over here over here back here right here as well and then you can peek back over here to check these sides essentially you circle that you should have some success with getting some clips over here I am yet to hit some clips right here I actually got clipped right here I got banger dude some dude actually hit like he got like th three kills or four kills and then they faded and then he had to collapse through the wall for the quad feed on me and the dude was a total random he probably had no idea what he hit but I'm going off on a tangent this video is already super long but yeah guys those are the spots for London docks and yeah this is one of my favorite maps I think that if you learn your spots you can be super consistent and this is one that I definitely recommend voting for but yeah guys that's gonna be it for London let's go ahead and move on to the next map all right guys point to Hawk this map is a damn handful it can either be one of the best maps or one of the worst Worst maps you know your lobbies will really just kind of control how your maps play out so some of the best maps can be great sometimes some of the worst maps can be absolutely awesome it really just depends I have days where I don't like shipment and I don't like roasting but those maps can be really consistent anyway uh, point to Hawk there are a couple spots on here one of the main ones that I like to focus on is right here in this little area people spawn right up there they'll run through right here 
on the off chance sometimes people will run over here then you can pop in here you'll go ahead and check right over there and then check this doorway essentially you go ahead and rotate there you should see some, some success uh, as long as maybe you throw out a care package or as long as your lobby is running the right way uh, the other way that you can go ahead and control is if you run right over here there's a couple spawns that you can control over here as well uh, you can go ahead and check people will run over there sometimes people will run right there you can check in here sometimes peek over there and then you can run back over here people will usually be up there it's very very common to see someone up there in that corner on that stairs so once you master your shot to can kind of get people out of there you can do pretty well so you get someone out of there sometimes people run right there they'll also run from over there in that little spot and kind of come right around this corner and then people will be right there but essentially you go ahead and control that and you should see some success on this side as well so like right there right there run back over here control that and that and uh, yeah this is the second spot and then there's one more spot that I will show you where it is very rare that people run here uh, but I have had success with it in the past so I figured I may as well show it off right over here sometimes people like to run right through here they'll run out that doorway run up that side and then you can kind of run up here and catch some people running this way as well it's kind of more of a you know I kind of wish people would run here type spot one that you kind of have to throw a care package for I guess I'll start calling these spots care package spots or something but this is something that could be nice if you can get the traffic running through here and I could definitely see some really awesome clips being hit uh, right here in this area but that is going to be pretty much it uh, for point to hawk I know there's a spot like right up there in between that little room but it's very rare that people run that way so those are gonna be the main spots and yeah that is going to be it for point to hawk onto the next map all right guys so on st. Marie there are pretty much two spots that you can focus on uh, or I guess kind of like two and a half and I'll go ahead and show you guys what I mean by that um, right here is the first one this is one where I've had the most success uh, in the most traffic run through essentially people will spawn right over there sometimes they'll run on that side but it's very rare for that side they'll run right over here is usually where they'll, where they'll go ahead and pop out uh, you can check up in this window sometimes peek over here they'll usually be on that side that side in the window or sometimes up there and then essentially you just rotate it and you should be able to hit some clips here so like right there run back over here right there right there right there right there you might want to do it in a different order than that but you guys get the idea go ahead and circle this spot and you should be able to find some consistency there and like i always say guys run your care packages throw them out if people are not running the way they are supposed to that can help quite a bit this is the second spot and i'll show you the half spot right over there but the second spot right here essentially people will pop up right there they'll run back over here you can just catch someone coming out from there or right here on the window and then you can check right here right here and then the half spot that I'm talking about is kind of like right here because it's a little bit different than standing right there uh, you're on the whole other side here so you can get someone back there someone running out right there and then you can run back get someone right there window over here on this side and essentially you can rotate over here as well um, it's really going to depend on how the lobby is running for which side is going to be the most effective but for me nine times out of ten it is this side over here where i get the most amount of clips and the most amount of traffic so i'd recommend if you're going to play st marie de that uh, well, I <laughs> if you're going to play st marie dumont play this side this is the way that you guys are going to want to go okay uh, but anyway that's going to be it for saint marie du mont i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next map all right guys so welcome to shipment aka the best map for ffa in my personal opinion this and Groston are super fun it's super small and the fast paceness of this map is just something that i really really enjoy i've actually been trying to put forth the effort to not vote this map so much just because i feel like i am getting too many clips on this map and I just want more variety, but whenever I do see this map pop up a lot of the time I do enjoy it if we do manage to get it But yeah guys, so there's really two spots uh, as far as this map goes Yes, there are spots on shipment even though the map is so damn small right here is one of them Essentially people will spawn like right here in this corner and they'll run out over there and a lot of the time They like to camp right there So essentially if you're over here, you can go ahead and get someone like right here go like that Someone runs over here get them like that So people will spawn right in that corner and right in that crate You can get that guy there that guy there and then people usually run right over here they'll sit on the head glitches right next to the dumpster and you can pop them off there and there essentially this is the one spot that you're going to want to rotate so basically just keep going back and forth from here depending on where they spawn pop them off i have a five on in this spot and i have a five one in the second spot that i'll show you as well right over here this is the other one that you would want to rotate essentially and there's kind of a half spot right here behind the, behind the dumpster uh, but right here essentially people will be right there right there in that corner sometimes they'll be back here 
and then pop over by the dumpster they'll be right there or right there and then they'll run out over here and you can pop them off over there and sometimes they're gonna be in that little room you can also take advantage if you're over in this spot and you're controlling right over here running your circle and you want to push out a little bit you can kind of look in here and a lot of the time there's somebody kind of right there in that room just chilling there you can pop them right there and then go back and see the people running over there in the corner but yeah spot number one spot number two right there when you go ahead and rotate that and then spot number three is kind of right here behind this dumpster this is where I hit my quad head times three uh, so this is a very very nice spot if you get people running the right way again traffic can be super weird this map can sometimes be terrible it really depends on your lobby but yeah you can get people running down there sometimes people will spawn like right over here on this side of experience you can get them right there you can push over here and they'll run right over here you can get them right there and then if you push around here you can kind of kind of keep paying attention right there get someone in that room and then run back and do the regular rotation on the uh, main spot right here on this side yeah guys this map is super fun arguably the best shipment that there has ever been and uh, yeah I'm not going to give up that opinion because I think that the spawns on this are absolutely amazing and it's not too hectic uh, but yeah guys that's been it for shipment we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next map alright guys so this is USS Texas so really there's only gonna be one spot that you guys are gonna want to main on this map honestly I don't really believe that any other is going to really be you know that successful except for this spot right here so essentially people will run up the stairs and go in that room and that room they'll run over here down the bottom and they'll also be on this little platform and they'll be in the back kind of head glitching that side and then when you run over here like I said they'll be in this room they'll also be over here on this platform right down there in that doorway sometimes they'll be in the back there and they'll be on that platform essentially you're gonna want to go ahead and rotate around here and I think that you guys should definitely see some success if you guys do uh, if you do get your care packages you can go ahead and throw them out right here look at that little bottle Nice little bottle, dude. I'm getting so distracted right now. This video is like an hour long now. <laughs> At least as I'm recording, I've been recording for about an hour. But yeah, right here, uh, this is going to be where you're wanna, uh, gonna wanna throw your care packages. Throw them right there. It'll get people to run out from over here and over here if you are not getting the traffic that you guys want. Uh, but yeah, basically, get some guy popped off right there. Some people run up right there. Get some dude in this room, run back over here. Pop him right there, sometimes right there. And then go ahead in here. And then if you need to, pop a guy down there. But yeah, guys, basically just go ahead and rotate this right here and uh, it should be pretty effective. I definitely really like this spot. This is where I've hit basically all my clips. I don't think that I've hit anything anywhere else on this map. I have heard some people say that playing right down here and right down here on this side, like under here over there, can be effective. I have not tried that personally. Like I said, this is all my personal opinion, what I've seen most effective. Uh, so that's why I'm recommending these spots. But definitely feel free to try different things. Let me guys, uh, let me know if you guys find it to be effective to play different spots. Uh, and if you see a lot of traffic and what you guys think is cool. But yeah, guys, that's going to go ahead and be it for USS Texas. All right, guys. So for Groston House, Valkyrie, and Carrington, I'm gonna have to show you guys in an actual lobby because for whatever reason when I go ahead and try and check the regular maps in private match those maps actually do not show up even though I have them downloaded so I'm gonna try and <laughs> even though it's super hectic show you guys the spots on this map so there's basically two that you can focus and right here I am in one at the moment uh, which is right here in this spot so people spawn there there right over there as you can see that guy's right there right over here in the corner people love to throw stuns at me but right there in that corner and that corner people love to camp back there i hate it so try and kill them out of there if you can but yeah essentially just circle right here and i've actually hit a five on like right here in this spot so it's like super effective but this is definitely one spot that i highly recommend if you are playing gross and this is one of the best maps i'd say second to shipment um, but yeah, this is definitely one that I recommend. Let's see if I spawn on the side over here. Yeah, okay. So right over here on this side, I don't know why the hell I have a crossbow. Um, on this side, this is another one that you can rotate, uh, right over here if I don't get killed before I can get to it. Kill that guy right down there. So you can rotate right here. People will spawn right over there. Go in that window. They'll spawn right over there in that end too. They'll run around right there. Spawn in the back right over there. You can get that guy like right there for instance and they'll spawn right there down there underneath that hill which I absolutely hate because half the time it's hard to get him out of there we just rotate right here sometimes you can hit something but the other side is definitely going to be the superior side as far as where you're going to want to go for clips yeah guys that is going to be it for Groston I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find us a Carrington or Valkyrie lobby and we'll go ahead and go from there depending on which map that I get next Yo, I just got back from grabbing something to drink and we got Valkyrie. Let's go. All right, guys. So here is Valkyrie right here. 
is the main spot that you're going to want to go ahead and rotate. Right here is the spot where you're going to hit the most clips. So people spawn right there. As you saw, that guy just ran past and I missed him. Well, they spawn right back there. Sometimes they'll kind of chill right over there and spawn next to that tree area. They run out this cabin. You can focus there. They'll be right there. They'll usually run down from over there or right here. Oh, <laughs> looks like I just got killed off the spot there, uh, but I'll go ahead and run back just so I can show you one more time essentially what the rotation is going to look like. So you can aim back here, aim right there by the cabin. You can go ahead and aim inside that doorway because they'll push there. Sometimes they'll push up there and right there and right down there. You can get them over there too. But essentially, if you just rotate this area, you're going to see the most effectiveness as far as trying to get traffic to come in through um, and just getting your clips, man. Right here is going to be the best spot for clips for sure. Uh, but this map can be two-sided sometimes. So I'll go ahead and show you the one other side uh, that I recommend as I get melted here. Uh, and I actually spawned right over here next to the side. So this is the other side that I used to play before. Somebody introduced me to that side of the map. Uh, and this one can be a little bit successful, but it just depends on where they run and again you can control this side with care packages but kind of just circle right here they'll run right over there either right there or right there they'll run out of there they'll, they'll spawn back there and then they'll usually run that way or this way but that way is the most popular way for them to run you can see some people run from right there or up there that's where you can get them oh i totally got melted but essentially yeah right here is where you're gonna run rotate so you can see people right there right there they'll run through there or there and sometimes they'll be back there as well right there right there the run from that spawn and run up that way and then you can get them right here as well basically this is kind of the second best spot it just depends on where the map is running but yeah the one that i recommend the most is going to be the one over there on that side and then this side is good as well but that is going to be it for valkyrie guys all right guys welcome to carrington aka the only map that i don't have a clip on in the entire ffa rotation uh so essentially right here is going to be the main spot i'm going to try and show you guys this very fast without getting melted uh because this is one of the maps that i have to show in uh online because they don't show in private match so right here they'll spawn right down there and you can get them right over here oh my god he got me off the top so this is one of the spots you can rotate right here this is not my favorite spot you can get people running over there over here sometime oh my goodness dude so i'd say this right here is the second best spot you can get people right there up in that oh my god dude so this right here is going to be the second best spot essentially uh, dude i am going to go insane i am going to go fucking crazy so this right here is going to be the second best spot if i can get this guy He's killed me off it every time. Okay, here we go. This is the second best spot. You can get someone right there, right there, right there, right there, up in the window, and then right over there in this window as well. And then if I can evade this guy, you can get somebody right over here on this side as well. Oh, goodness. Okay, finally I got that side shown. This is so hard to do in an online match. All right, this is the main spot, essentially. Right there, right there, down there, on this side. Check your windows. This is where you're going to like it the most. This is the longest I've been alive in this online game to show you this, but this is the spot where you're going to want to be the most. And then that spot's the second spot down there where you're going to want to be. You can rotate around there. And then if I can make my way to the other side, I can show you the other spot. This is so much harder to do in an online game than you guys think. Oh my god. I gotta make it over here on this side, and then this is the other spot that you want to focus on. Oh, dolphin dive away. Basically, you can get somebody up there. Over there, up there. <laughs> I look like I'm just looking everywhere, but I promise it is a good spot. That's probably the best I'm going to be able to do for the most part. All right, guys, that's essentially going to be it for Carrington. I know this map is a little bit different as far as my explanations go because I genuinely can't stay alive for more than two seconds to properly show you guys the spots. But up here, down there, and then the other side are essentially the spots that you can try out. And up here on this roof is the main spot you're going to want to focus on. All right, I'm sure you guys are curious, why the hell am I in the headquarters and why the hell am I playing Prop Hunt? The reason for that is because Prop Hunt is in the rotation on the headquarters 24-7 game mode, which also has gun game and free-for-all in there. So I really wanted to throw this map in. I actually forgot about this map in Sandbox, so Sandbox is going to be the last one I show. Um, but essentially this one right here, the main spot that you're going to want to focus on is right here. The run right there right there sometimes you can peek and get them up there they'll spawn in the back there and a lot of the time you can peek around and get them over here but this is going to be the main spot it's the spot where i see the most success sometimes you can station yourself over here and see success as well if you focus right around here on this corner where this spawn is you can essentially get people coming from over there running through here and running through here as well but these two spots right there and right there are the best with this spot being the absolute best if you are going to play this game mode i think that headquarters free-for-all is super fun but it's very rare because they decided that throwing 
prop hunt in the rotation <laughs> would be a great idea, which absolutely sucks because I wish it was just free for all gun game. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for headquarters. If you guys decide to play that, these are the two best spots right here and right here. All right, guys, so this is going to be Sandbox. This is one of my favorite maps. I'm going to try and show you guys this the best that I can. There's essentially only two spots on here. It's going to be this side um, where this sandcastle is and then the other sandcastle. Um, on this one, you can get somebody coming down there. Right over here on this side, a lot of the time they'll run right there, right there. Oh, I got 19 seconds to show you. Right there, right there as well. You can kind of just go ahead and circle that and see some clip opportunities there. And then if I run over here, I can just show you this spot real fast. I have nine seconds to do it. I'll do it fast as hell. Here we go. Run up here and get them right there, right there right there right there right there and right there circle that and then you will find success with that i just speed ran sandbox to show you guys the absolute best spots let's go drop a like for that guys because that was very hectic i did not expect that guy to leave immediately and there you have it, guys that is going to be every single map in the ffa rotation i don't believe i missed one i hope i didn't anyway i actually forgot about hq and sandbox towards the end there i'm really frustrated that it did not let me show um a couple of the dlc maps or any of the dlc maps for that matter in the private match i don't know why it would not let me do that but that's why i had to go online and actually play a real ffa game and find those maps which was very hard please drop a like for that uh, that's why it was super hectic when i tried to show those spots because i was trying to get there without dying and stuff like that so if the last couple maps were a little confusing or a little hectic i do apologize but i'm sure you guys get the gist and i'm sure you guys can control those just like all the other maps i had a lot of fun making this video um as i am looking right now it looks like i've been recording for about an hour and 20 minutes so i'm I'm guessing this video is going to be anywhere from 25 30 maybe even 35 minutes i don't want to say 40 but it will probably be very long like i said i'm going to have timestamps all the way down in the bottom of the video to show you guys basically when each map is coming up so you guys obviously don't have to watch the whole thing if you already know spots on certain maps but i wanted to be thorough i wanted to show everything just in case because i know some people want to know about all maps i know some people just have a question about one so i figured why not just go ahead and go all out and show every single one the best that i can i hope that this tutorial or whatever you guys want to call it this guide for spots helps you guys go ahead and control maps better leads to better clips for you guys honestly i really want to be the reason that you guys go ahead pop off and shine in ffa anyway guys if you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment section down below i usually like or heart every single comment and i'll reply to you if you guys have any questions whatsoever about the spots in ffa and if you have any other requests for anything else you want to see in ffa or just any ideas at all please be sure to let me know um i was highly considering going ahead and starting like a live sniping uh uh, commentary type series something like people used to do back in the day like in 2012 just to kind of try and get that old-fashioned vibe back for ffa but that was just me something i wanted to do if you guys are interested in that also let me know about that as well i'm probably going to do it either way uh but yeah guys i hope you did enjoy this video and i hope it does help you guys out like i said please drop a like i've been recording for like over an hour and getting those online maps was super super stressful so please please, please drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy it like i said smash the like button comment down below subscribe if you are new i will see you guys in the next video Stay safe.